Jackson Jr. here again, hanging out once again with my buddy, the rig doctor, Mason Marangella. So, what do we have today? Well, what we have today is Mason's Boost, the Vertex Boost pedal. But the cool thing about it is, not only is it a boost pedal, it also works with your volume pedal to create something really, really, really magnificent. A better volume pedal. First of all, let's, let's talk about volume versus expression. Okay, a volume pedal, totally analog, uses a pot potentiometer to vary the level of the instrument going in. Okay, inherent problem is it usually changes the sound. Sometimes it's kind of a cool thing, depending on what you're doing, like, if, you know, if you're, you know, kind of... Sometimes losing a little high end is okay. Usually it's not a good thing. But what this does is it does two things. Number one, it's got a great silent buffer in it and you still have a volume potentiometer working without all the artifacts, without the degradation in the sound. Now, expression pedals are good, you know, how you plug an expression into a, a digital board or like on some of the digital boards, they have like a, a pedal uses expression. The problem is they work with MIDI steps. And in MIDI, there are 127 steps of volume. So in let's just call it in the digital world. In the digital world, you have 127 steps for volume zero being obviously off and 127 being full volume. In the analog world, with a true volume pedal, it's infinite. You know, so from full volume to uh, zero volume, you have a whole lot more than 127. It really is, it's exponential, if you will. So it's gonna be a lot smoother. It's gonna be a lot, you know, warmer, if you will, a lot more natural when you're using uh, an actual volume pedal. Okay, let's talk a little bit about gear. Okay, very, very simple today. As always, I'm playing a PRS guitar. In this case, it's my uh, PRS 250 with 245 pickups. Um, same guitar you can buy off the shelf. Painless, totally painless. Uh, these are 11s, strings 11 through 50. I use Jim Dunlop strings, great strings. Use Cordial cables, off the shelf stuff, an Ernie Ball volume pedal. The Ernie Ball pedal is hooked up as an expression pedal to the Vertex Boost. So, we talked a little bit about expression versus a pot or a potentiometer. In this case, you get the best of both worlds because we're using the potentiometer so you're not limited to the 127 steps as you would be in digital. You have the infinite range, so it's totally, totally analog smooth. So, much cooler. So this is all stuff that you can buy. The cool thing is, this is what I like about gear, is I hate it when uh, people ask you to demo something that the average guy can't get. And to me, that's pointless. I like to use stuff that anything I can get, you can go out and buy. So any tone that you hear that you like, you can get the same tone. Also, for the amp, we're using a Fender Hot Rod DeVille. Once again, off the shelf amp, anything that, you know, just go to your, your local music store or <laughs> your favorite online um, distributor. And same thing that, that, that anyone can get. So. Really, really simple, off-the-shelf gear. Okay, so, buffers. Now, lots of people make buffers. There are some really, really great ones out there. This is a really great one because it doesn't change the sound of the guitar. And with the pedal in or out, I set it to zero dB of boost, and you'll hear there's no sound, there's no change in sound.
exactly the same. And the buffer is always on, so. So the buffer is always on. So guitar, change to low impedance, great thing. Long cable runs, no degradation in sound. Now that's just part of the game. The other cool thing is 20 dB of boost. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play a few examples of switching the, the boost function in and out so you can hear the difference in level. And what you'll notice obviously is an increase in output volume which will drive the amp a little bit harder. But what you will also notice is that the actual tone of the instrument does not change. to 20 dB of clean boost. The other cool thing is each step on the pedal, there's a detent on each step. Each detent, each step represents a dB from obviously one up until 20. The cool thing about that is, you know, you may play a night and let's say somebody moves your knob or whatever, it's like, man, where I had, that was really my sweet spot, I really loved it, well now you can get it back. I know my sweet spot is 11 dB. So you start at zero count to 11, you're there, so it's repeatable, it's replicable. So really, really great. So you've got a nice clean boost, you've got analog volume. Which there's nothing like it. And you got up to 20 dB of boost. So folks, that is the Vertex Boost Volume Pedal combination Killer Killer Pedal, The Rig Doctor, Mason Marangella, hashtag Vertex, hashtag Stories from Stomp and Willie, hashtag Lord Bless You Real Good. I am out of here.